Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Joe Bisping, and in this video, I have something exciting to show you. So, here's the backstory. Greg and I were at TCI Expo this winter, this past winter, and we were going through uh, the different uh, stations there, and we ran into Brands Manager, and they had a really cool product there, and I was like, Greg, we gotta get that. So, I'm gonna show you what we got here. Check it out. We got this rake attachment for our skid steer. Now that thing, I think it's like six foot long. I mean, that's a beast. That is long. Can you see that? And uh, they said this is going to help us tremendously in raking. So today we're going to find out here. We got it this winter. We only used it like maybe once, twice. And uh, it was pretty snowy and slushy. So this is our first real test with it. And today we, uh, we cut down about 10 pine trees here, spruce trees. So you can see we have quite the mess going here. I pushed a little bit with the grapple, but now we want to do some raking. So I want you guys to see this. We'll try it out, see how it works, and hopefully it works like a charm. And uh, boy, that will be a back saver and a time saver. Right, Greg? So here we go. guys so yeah you saw what I just did there so this is actually a lot of this is sediment under these, these spruce trees from years and years of you know growing here so I want to show you what it can do in the grass here and uh, you know keep in mind conditions as well when you're using this today it's a dry day it hasn't rained in at least a day or two um, so and it's been really windy so the ground's pretty dry right now and this is a pretty this is a really nice yard uh, the grass here so we're gonna see how it tears up and if it doesn't if it does so Alright, so you can see it definitely uh, did okay. It didn't tear it up or anything. You can almost you can see where I turned the uh, grass the other way. So we're gonna, I'm going to back drag it once, see how it looks. Maybe I'll do a different spot. dry day it doesn't tear it up which is good so you just gotta you can't do it on a wet day though it'll probably tear up the ground and you gotta see how the moss there's some moss on there it tears it up a little bit it's the same thing as using a rake really you know just the same if it's wet out you tear it up more so keep that in mind <laughs> All right, everybody. So this is a look at the top spot here. You know, this is just purely the uh, rake attachment on the skid steer. So it looks pretty darn good, which you guys saw what it looked like before. Uh, we're gonna be putting dirt in here, so I don't really have to worry about all the little tiny sticks and all that stuff. But um, if I was going to worry about that, we weren't gonna put dirt in here. I, you know, I would do a fine rake in here, but you can imagine how much time that saves and effort it would take, you know, a light raking compared to trying to rake that stuff up or shovel this stuff up which is a pain so we're going to clean this out here 
I got a pile here. I'm going to go down to the bottom there and start working that stuff into a pile again. And then I'll show you the final product here in a little bit. All right, guys, so to be fair here, I am pushing some stump grindings. Uh, we ground two stumps down there. So that's a lot of material, but I wanted to just give it a try because it's kind of mixed in anyway, so with some sticks. So there's the pile. I mean, it's doing pretty darn good. It pushes pretty good, and we're pushing uphill here, so. This is just kind of, we, we got to finish grinding because I found some uh, roots and stuff, so we'll finish grinding, and then we'll smooth it out real nice with the rake and see what we get for a finished product. All right, everybody, so this is basically what it looks like now after using the rake on the machine there and this it hasn't been touched with a hand rake at all so this is basically what it looks like um and it looks pretty good now this was a job with a lot of sediment under these trees and you know the the these blue spruce have a lot of like broken um dead limbs that come off and they make a big mess so it did really good at pushing that all up i mean like i said i haven't raked at all yet and that's what's left so I pushed it into a pile and then um, we loaded it up with the uh, bucket into the trailer and then I'll just do some more finished raking with this big rake and then we will touch up with a hand rake anywhere we need to and we'll blow off the road and we'll be done. And thanks to branch manager for sending this out to me to give it a try and put it to the test and, and really show you guys how well it works and um, be able to do that. It was a lot of fun. All right, that's a wrap on this job. So we'll look at it. Like I said, we'll be bringing dirt back to fill in this spot here. But you can see it looks pretty good. Boy, what a lifesaver that rake was. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.